In this episode, we get a little overexcited about the new tech coming our way this year. Dom exercises her demons in DMC Devil May Cry. I like it rough. We have some cool tees to give away courtesy of the guys at Retro GT. And we make our pick of the most highly anticipated games hitting the shelves in 2013. Hi and welcome to Kilobits. It's uh, 2013 and we're all still here. Yep, somehow not only us but also gaming has managed to survive 2012 with a mine apocalypse and piss poor performance. But it's not all really bad. At CES 2013 they did announce the Project Shield and Rose of Edge. What about that piston? That piston. optimized steam. Best company name ever, XI3. Yeah. Sounds it's like fine. a, a model of washing machine. It's quite snippy and catchy. You can kind of see that catch on, but snippy. I don't see the. It is quite snippy. 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 It's not. Snippy. It's not actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a steam box, though, is it? I mean, yeah. XI3 kind of announced it with a big kind of wave of media yeah. attention. It's and like then the good on Gabe yeah. and waddled in like yeah. it's not the steam box. Guys. I was pretty excited when they were like steam box. Like console, Valve, all that kind of thing, because I was kind of a big. And it's not going to be a console. It's just going to be like a. No, sweet now thing. I've kind of. It's going to be amazing. Lot of things. I don't understand I'll what. Leave judgment. I'll leave judgment. I don't understand what this Razor's Edge and the Shield thing are like. I mean, as much as I love. I can't particularly deal with the idea of like a handheld gaming PC. Sense. It just seems overly expensive, and and the things that it does. I mean, if you're going to use Android, you're going to use your phone, and phones yeah. are that good these days. They, it, I think they phones are, will catch up at some point they if they're going to release something like that. You're not a fan of the mobile gaming. I right? want. <laughs> no, I seriously can't handle like touchscreen games. Like unless you're playing like Angry Birds or Fruit Ninja or something, yeah. in which case you should probably kill yourself anyway. But uh, <laughs> then again, having said that, the the Bluetooth kind of e external devices that that link up with your phones are out there already. So this this mm -hmm. Razer's Edge device that you've got that works as a uh, a streaming device for your PC and also That's works as, as Android. It's all right, it's, but it's, it's not been done in better ways by an actual controller. So hang on, what it PC. turns like a PC into a Wii U. Pretty much Pretty something much, along yeah. those lines, but not I as good, and it just it doesn't it doesn't feel that comfortable in the market. I don't think it's going to catch on well, to be honest. Well, I think yeah. it's a nice concept, but I don't think it's going to people going to be like ah. Bear in mind that there's yeah. already like what like we've got 3ds, 3ds XL. The <laughs> sorry, that's that's the way I say Vita. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey. right, I'll let you off. It's all right. <laughs> the Vita's pretty cool though. No. But what do we think about the other the other thing? I mean, talking about the, the Razor's Edge uh, mm. and and uh, uh, kind of the um, uh, Android stuff. I mean, Oi Ouya is kind of or Oi Oya Ouya. Ouya, it's Ouya. Ouya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you fancy about that? I've not read too much on. I can't analysis. wait. I literally can't wait. It seems like uh, it, it was kind of the first thing on Kickstarter that really actually caught my eye. Mm. But at the same time, like. If you've been sort of keeping up with the project, it's yeah. hit a lot of sort of bumps. Yeah. So what's it actually all about? Because I'm not. Oh, it's I like a it's like a little cube of horseshit. But, oh, uh, yeah, little yeah, cube and uh, thing. yeah, a little cubey thing. <laughs> it's just like a, it's an Android console, which is confusing because most Android games are made for like touch screens. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. only issue with it is yeah, my only issue is it's got it's got the touch screen thing is is. All of the Android games are designed for touchscreen. Mm. Ouya hasn't got a touchscreen, and 
it, it's not going to translate well in my What kind of games would really be out on that? Oh no, they, 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 it's literally game? it's shipping with dev kits. So right. like people are making their own like controller based games. So there's going to be like a thousand Super Mario World clones. Yeah. That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, it's going to be ridiculous. Pissing into a very very large pool basically. Uh, okay, we should probably move on to the uh, the speculation that's been coming out of the CES control. of. Uh, the Xbox 720 and the the PS4. I've been trying to yeah. keep up on uh, on, on the, the information around it. Um, uh, pretty much there's been no news whatsoever. The only news we've had in the last year has been leaked information from Microsoft, <laughs> um, which wasn't even confirmed, but only really kind of had any uh, validity because Microsoft did, did such a job of trying to get rid of it. Um, I've not really looked much no. at the 720 because I'm more of a Sony girl. I did look yeah. at the, I looked at the <laughs> um, PS4 kind of thing more, and I think that's more appealing to me. But it's We've they're both going to be news. super super oh, expensive. Have we? Yeah, with the Illumi right. uh, yeah, yeah. Room is it? Illumi oh, Room. Yeah. I'm actually quite excited about that. Of course, you're excited about it. Really you've got a, you've got a big clean room. No I just one, don't get no why. one in England has a room big enough for Connect. I don't understand why if they're going to do this like Illumi Room thing, why you just can't they can't go go get a projector. And it's like yeah, the it's, it, it mixes yeah. your screen, your high res definition screen, and then just puts small details in the rest of the room. It, it also has it all films your room as well and, and kind of moves it. I'm just, I'm not particular, I'm not fussed about this next generation of consoles mm. because, as far as I can see, the way things are going, it's just going to be more like horseshit motion controls, <laughs> more horseshit 3D that hurts your eyes, and more advertising on like dashboards. Like, have you guys yeah. seen the new PlayStation Store? Yeah. It's redonk. It's quite but nice. But having said that, Design having said that, I mean, we, if we're talking about the new Xbox 720 and PlayStation 3, at the moment, uh, sorry, 4, <laughs> I keep doing this. Um, uh, if, if we're talking about that, um, we've got no real information about what it's going to be like. So if we're going to be completely honest, what do we know about the PlayStation 4 and Xbox 720? Well, pretty much nothing at the moment. We, the only thing we really know is the rumours about the names. And how that's going to be like maybe a pack with the Vita, yeah. but even if that it like does come, that's kind of a good package because it kind of attracts a lot of people. Still but it's rumors. still it's still, it's still just rumors. But it's yeah. I don't I don't know. I'm a bit yeah. I I hold I put no truck in rumors. All I know is that they're going to be overpriced, terrible yeah. at launch, and then dead in ten years. Yeah. The end. I'm on that note. <laughs> <laughs> DMC is the new instalment in the Devil May Cry series, featuring Dante, who has been totally reinvented but still manages to keep his kick-ass and cocky attitude. The story circulates around Dante as he goes through Limbo City on a mission to slaughter the demon who's controlling humanity. Me, a god, versus you, a piece of shit. You get hired by Dante's brother, Virgil, and meet a new love interest along the way. Graphically, DMC is a beauty to look at. The graphics are really heavily shaded, which gives every character a distinct and unique look. It highlights the dark from the light easily, and the scenery looks stunning. The gameplay is fast-paced and quick-moving, with a lot of action-packed madness. DMC is a game that's quick to involve you and drag your focus into the quick unfolding storyline. The combat system is quite simple, like regular hack and slash games. Although it's a one button continuous press and I found that it got quite boring and very uncomfortable after a long long period of time. But you're also easily able to switch weapons instead of faffing around with menus, which is quite handy. Dante starts off with only his sword and his two lovely pistols, Ebony and Ivory. Ebony, Ivory, Mr. Brooks. As you play through, you do gain different weapons to help you take down a wider range of enemies with ease, such as the grapples. Using these, you are able to pull the enemies closer to you, as well as you closer to them for upfront, more in the face battles. The grapples are also needed to get around the maps and to get to higher ledges. Within the first level, you're instantly thrown into the deep end with the combat. You get shown how to use your weapons, as well as how to start the combo moves off. This also introduces you into a mini boss fight to set you up for the rest of the game level. 
It shows you how to target and spot a demon's weak point and how to take them down easily. DMC is also home to a leveling combo system. The more times you change weapon and perform different moves in order to defeat enemies, the higher you score and it will gain you a higher rank at the end of the level. While DMC is a straight path kind of game, it does give you the chance to explore the world you're currently battling in. This gives you a chance to search for your collectibles, like keys and lost souls which boost your score at the end of the chapter. These collectibles can open up new rooms in which Dante can enter and earn rewards. I also found that the menu is very easy to use and move around, and after every level completion you are able to up the difficulty if it was too easy and vice versa. Overall, for this DMC being the first that I've played, I thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it. It's engaging and powerful and incredibly cool, but unlike some of my friends who are major die-hard fans of the Devil May Cry series, I was not bothered about Dante's massive changing look. Not in a million years. I know a lot of people were bothered by this, but it may be because I've not played through others enough to know and love the old Dante. Aside from this, DMC gives you a lot of motivation for more than one playthrough, which is very unusual for games of today, so therefore I give DMC a solid 7 out of 8 bits. You're too clingy! I think you're all mixed up. So, uh, um, new reboots and things coming out. Uh, obviously DMC's come out, but we've got other ones like uh, Tomb Raider. Of the endurance, we are stranded on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. We need help and medical supplies. Please respond. Team Radio is definitely going to be a good one, I think. <laughs> Toby! I, <laughs> I think it's going to be a good one. I think. Why can't we have a female protagonist that isn't a rape survivor I totally or an emotional wreck? I do totally agree with that. <laughs> I just don't. Okay, it's they've ruined Lara. Samus Aran, now they're ruining Lara Croft. Yeah. Who's next? That shit crashed back. They, they've they already out. ruined Lara Croft yeah. many, many years ago when they made Tomb Raider 2. But, um, I'd they, ruin they, Lara Croft. They, <laughs> I probably wouldn't. It's, it's, uh, been, yeah. it's, been, it's, been kind of, it's been made so many times now, it's such a long series that it's already been ruined, it's been remade, it's been rebooted. And to be honest with you, the new one coming out is... It's it's kind of it. It, it looks it like looks, Uncharted. It's it looks Uncharted. Like, it it looks, un, looks like Uncharted. Yeah. The the um, quick time events. Don't get me started on quick time events. No, I think they seem to think that that's the way to take a game franchise. Forward. I think I that's the only thing that will. Well, not the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few things. But I think it will let it down quite a lot. I like that every time she gets punched, she's like, ah. It's like trees, falls on floors, gets yeah, impaled. Like she was meant to be like shown as like a proper. Human being. Yeah, yeah, a proper yeah, human being. Super human. She looks. Yeah, she's no. She's what, she's this is what I mean. Hurt it's, more than anything. This, yeah, like, this is exactly what I mean. It's mm. the fact that like before she would just kind of get like I don't know, slaughtered by a tiger, and she'd be like, oh, wipe that off. Yeah, but like, now, like a male like, game character. Oh, yeah. Can't have gender equality, yeah. can we? No, we can't. Okay. Anyway, uh, the thing that I'm looking forward to, because you guys can shut the fuck up about rape scenario, <laughs> is uh, Metal Gear Rising. My soul is a tool of justice. I'm impressed with your little toy. Okay, the demo of that was great. I got it with the Zone of the Enders HD collection. You should definitely do that. Uh, it's just nothing like any of the other Metal Gears. I love it. Uh, like it's literally just like a chopping things up simulator. Yeah. It's like it's like DMC, okay. except it's got a competent storyline, a likable main character, good graphics, uh, a well-renowned studio, Platinum Games. By the way, Anarchy Reigns came out this month. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, it, it, to me, it, it, I've seen like, quite a few videos of it. I haven't actually had a, yeah. had a chance to have a go at it. From from what it looked like, yeah. it looked like it was just a slow motion chopping things in half simulator. That's what it looked like. It looked like you were running through, you'd get into a fight, and then it was just an excuse to show off the new tech demo. I didn't know that you played the demo. I haven't played the demo. Yeah, no, that's that's what the game is. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a sucker for anything <laughs> that's literally just like... Okay, imagine for a moment that you've got a new robot body and that you've got a Russian commander. Would you or would you not use that robot body to chop people up? I think I would. Yeah, they see... Um, no. Yeah, you, you, you don't no. get an opinion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
something else that's really good for a giggle, I think, yeah, well, I'm hoping, I've been looking forward to it for so long, it's been delayed and delayed. Do you know what I'm thinking about? It's game over, man. It's game over. It's game over, man. <laughs> Aliens, Colonial Marines. Winner, anything to report? Not a good time, sir. Everyone is dead or close to it, sir. Holy shit. Where am I? Jesus Christ! If Randy, good old Randy Pitchford, has lied to me that this game is good, you don't see Bert die. We can find out what happens to him. Mm, <laughs> yeah. So no, it's just it looks shiny. It looks really good. Aliens, Colonial Marines. Uh, the aliens look good. It's got kind of elements of the the Left for Dead game mechanic with co-op and and it's got uh, versus the kind of versus mode that they also had in Left for Dead. So in other words, it's pretty much just a copy paste of Left for Dead it's, with it's aliens. It's in no way but, that. But it's still, just, no. I'm, I'm still extremely excited <laughs> yeah. about it. As a really big fan of the Alien series, um, I'm just so happy that it's coming out. And in which a way, do you think is the best Alien film? Wh which I think is the best Aliens to uh, Aliens. Fifteen meters. Closing fast. Ten meters. Five meters. Here they come. And I am excited about that game, and I, I, I really am looking forward to seeing it. I just got a funny feeling that I might be a little disappointed. What about these so, new IPs, man? Oh yeah, there's a few things coming out, aren't there? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, we've got uh, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Or I am it? so is excited that, for that. that oh yeah, the new Ellen Page, Page game. Yeah, yeah. I know. They're coming. That was a big reveal, wasn't it? We've got Ellen Page, um, and then we've got another one that, with a character that looks like Ellen Page. Um, <laughs> is she like everywhere? Uh, yeah. She's literally everywhere. She's like God. <laughs> she is like, it's not actually Ellen Page, but it's yeah. that um, post-apocalyptic... Oh, The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Yeah, That's by right. Naughty Dog, so yeah. you know it. It's got a good pedigree. <laughs> Holy shit. Help! Are we going to help him? Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. What about the guy? Oh, he ain't even hurt. <laughs> Alone oh, fuck. In the go, go, go! The darkness is falling. The sky has turned gray. The hound in the distance is starting to bay. He's in here! Motherfucker! Brutal. The, yeah. the last C3 mm. video was, was horrific. Um, uh, what else great. is there? Um, South Park. Dave. Oh, South Park, yeah. a stick of THQ. Yeah. <laughs> All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. Let me show you my kingdom. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The Stick of Truth. God, the elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave that until it comes out to make any Tenement's Revenge was so terrible. I know a lot of people were very excited for that, but I was not one of them. Oh, <laughs> are you not a South Park fan? I am, but not of the games. Uh, really. It's more of a, I, I kind of get scared when things come out, like movies. Yeah. For games, because I don't want to, if I like the movie, I don't want the game to then ruin well, it, and then I hate the movie. In 2011 or 2012, like last year or the year before, there was a platform game called Tenement's Revenge that came out, and that was the worst thing. 
like that would get literally like zero out of eight bits from me mm. <laughs> and I just I couldn't handle it so I'm kind of nervous but this one's actually written and directed by it looks, Parker and Stone it looks like it's going to be good but I like I say I'm still reserving judgement till it yeah, comes out maybe I, I just try, don't but I don't believe that they're actually going to do it. a good job but, but yeah THQ are dead where are we going to get our terrible games where are we going to get our wrestling who's going to send us infinite press copies of UFC Infinity Ward <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, uh, moving on from Activision. Um, also, one that's probably not really a new IP, but something that is moving into the kind of uh, a new thing is Day Z. They're coming out for, for um, Armor Three's uh, new engine. They're, they're doing a proper release. So, thoughts on that? Uh, let's just talk about Watchdogs instead. <laughs> <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> Watchdogs. I see the digital shadow you cast. Lie to everyone else. You can't hide from me. I'm going to find you and expose you to the world. GTA Hacking. Hacking, Hacking Simulator, yeah. yeah, it looks stunning, the it, graphics oh. look amazing, it's got to be next year. It's got to be, it's got to be a launch title, it's and if, yeah. if that's like coming out this year, then that means the new consoles are coming out this year. Absolutely, mm. yeah. It's logic, yeah. it's empirical yeah, logic. I kind of hope they announce new consoles this year. Oh god, it'll be but, good. Yeah, I, I, I'm still a bit, I'm just going to... I'm too poor out. for I, it. Yeah, so am I, but student loans. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So. Yeah. Uh, returning franchises this year, we've got Dark Souls 2. You are of the undead. Forever without hope. Forever without light. The reason I'm sitting right now is because I've had an erection since New Year's. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, it looks like everything the last game was, but just to, sort of turned up to eleven. I can't. Yeah. Like, can yeah. you can you move this? I don't actually. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. Uh, Pokemon X and Y as well. Boy and Girl Chromosome Edition. Mm. Discover a breathtaking 3D world. Yeah, I played some of the old Pokemon. Oh, come on. Copy paste, re come re release. On. I really I'm not excited for three DS exclusive. It's one of those things I really yeah. want to be excited for, but I can't find the feelings inside. Let's talk about excited. something that is gonna be exciting. Bioshock Infinite looks stunning. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. Fucking um, wait. Bioshock 2 wasn't as Bioshock big. 2 is a pile of filth. I didn't like it. Um, Bioshock 1, brilliant, but just was uh, just like System Shock 2, copied, pasted, and all the good bits taken out, in my opinion. It's almost like it was made by the same studio. Exactly the same studio uh, for console gamers. And uh, so that's that's why I, I didn't like them. But they were great. If you hadn't played uh, System Shock 2, they, they were fantastic. Mm. Um, yeah. But this new one looks just fantastic. The new Odd brilliant. World coming out. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck <laughs> you guys. If they make it back like the original uh, original Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus, um, and they they take the elements that made those good, then we're looking at a good game. But if not, if they if they borrow anything from that Munch's Odyssey. Then, uh, Stranger's Wrath's all right. It is. It's pretty good. I've yeah, not played it. Yeah. You should. Yeah. You should. It's pretty good. Uh, so, so, what else? Well, so the one that we've obviously not mentioned is the one that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually excited about more Which than is? I can possibly mention. It's already my game of the year. I've already given it eight out of eight bits. It's GTA Five. He is not staying the night. Oh He's a god. 
You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. If you want my advice, give the shit up. Skeletons in your closet, itching to come outside. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, <laughs> or they ain't going. <laughs> I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. GTA 5, oh. it looks yeah, amazing. Good. The videos, the screenshots, uh, I'm, I just... It looks like it's next gen. It looks like, like this gen. It looks like Rockstar have watched fucking Breaking Bad. That's what it looks like. It looks yeah. like they've locked themselves in the broom closet for the last 10 years yeah. and not come out until they make an amazing game. Oh, um, God, I cannot I'm, wait. I'm, I'm excited. It's, it looks like cultural commentary, the game. I can't wait. I will probably pick it up because I have played like old GTAs, but I'm not... What, the top-down ones? Like, mm. No, I'm just, I'm just not excited really for it. Okay. <laughs> I know it's Do really... you have feelings? This is what I was thinking. I mean, you've got right, ovaries, I so I thought feelings <laughs> flowed from that. Well, they, they may. <laughs> I love your understanding of a, of, of a female. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. You know, okay, no, men have three feelings. Hungry, happy, and sad. Okay. That's almost like me, though. But I'm not sad, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just... I don't know. I think I am literally just feeling less for stuff. I just, apart from if you're not three, excited about GTA V, all I've got to say is... You, you probably don't have a pulse. Um, yeah, you must be that's blind or stupid. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fucking fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait. Now, before we go, we've got to wrap up last month's competition, the gorgeous Christmas gift bundle. And the winners are Big Spoon Monkey and Casey Chaos. So those ifs will be jetting their way you. Well done guys and also we've got another fantastic competition this month. Um, our friends over at RetroGT.com have given us some amazing t-shirts mm -hmm. and two to give away so uh, obviously we'll be doing that for you. These ones are the ones we'll be uh, chucking at you, the Raccoon Flying School. Toby's majestically modelling this with his flowing golden locks which you do not get with the t-shirts. Kill me. So you cannot be <laughs> as majestic as Toby. Kill me. As and if you want to win these you've got to answer this very simple question. Um, what are, or what is, in your opinion, the best dressed game character? Gordon Freeman. Next. Yep, that's answered. <laughs> now, you've got to be in it to win it, so leave a comment below with your answer and please do it by the 30th of January at 3pm or you're dead to me. <laughs> Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us at tw on Twitter at the kilobits. At the kilobits. <laughs> and we're also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the kilobits. Yep, now that's literally it for this month. Uh, we're all off to play some video games, I guess. Okay. Faster than life. Since that's what we do DMC. in between these. You're not going to play more DMC. I am going to play more you're DMC. You're not going to play more DMC. I am going to play more DMC. Play more DMC. <laughs> I'm going to platinum DMC. No, you're not. You're going to get 1,000 G because you've got an Xbox. Next. Bye. See you later. Bye. That's how it goes, right? <laughs>